Hey, hey, it's me, Droopy Pawn, on my green, green, on my green bird. See my green bird? So I'm back from the emergency, and now we're gonna try and tame the 95 Baryonyx that's over here at my house. I need to get rid of this bear. Maybe a little more fur for the fur clothing I need to make. I think the bear hits hard. Got a little more fur. Now, I had already built the stuff, so let's see. He's coming from, oops, coming from that direction. So I'm going to build the ramp on this side. And the way we do this is pillars. I put them right there in the doorway and then move them out one. And on top of that, we'll put the ceilings. And if you snap them right, you don't get the nub, but it looks like I failed on that one. And it doesn't matter anyway, because it's not for looks. It's just a trap. And then here, the, the, the ramps, the wooden ramps, will snap onto the ceilings. And now, we go find that Baryonyx and get his attention. And make him follow us into the trap. Now, I want to check for Capros, because I don't want a Capro jumping on me while I have a Baryonyx following me in the water. That could be bad. And um, here's another distraction. Sarko. Let's grab his little Sarko bag, because gonna need that Sarko skin eventually all right looking for the Baryonyx there he is I found you mr. Baryonyx anybody see a Capro around I don't right, let's land let's land right here and he should get angry all right here we go Baryonyx is biting me and he's fast so I'm flying it fast speed and kind of letting off every once in a while he's gonna follow me all the way to the trap he she I don't even know which one it is I said he's gonna follow me all the way to the trap hey follow me all the way to the trap yeah like that my bird can take the bites uh oh uh oh You don't need that. You need to come over here into this trap. You don't need a moose. And there we go. One trapped Baryonyx. Alright, so I'm gonna remove... I can't remove it. Can't remove it because he bit it. I'm gonna remove that one. Nope, he bit that one too. Nope, move. Ah, he bit all the spike traps. Well, that's alright. Grab whatever that came from. And it's going to be time to knock out a Baryonyx. Now let's check the Dodo Dex. Um, Dodo Dex. Baryonyx, Dodo Dex, Barry. He's a 95, right? Right, you're a 95, aren't you? Oh, he's biting the spikes and it's killing him. All right, we got to get rid of those. Uh, let's demolish. Hey, we can't be having that. Oh, now I got a Pariser trying to kill him. Oh, Lord. This is not going well. Come after me, Mr. Pariser. Okay, so don't put spikes up around your trap. Apparently that kills the critter that you're trying to tame and that's a bad thing. Okay, he should be good now. He, she, what was it? He, she? Uh, 
mail. It's a heat. So I learned a thing. Don't put spikes around your trap. And <laughs> kill kill the guys that are gonna damage your dude. So including this Pariser. He could come over there and, and the very owners could be biting the wall but accidentally bite the Pariser. So I'm getting rid of the Paris. Yeah, and that gives me a bunch of prime meat because I just killed two Parisers. Let's go cook that. Hopefully the grill's still going. It is not. Where's my 150 Pariser? I have a 150 Pariser under the house. Alright, well, we're gonna have to wait for the Baryonyx to heal now. So that gives me some time to catch some fish or make some regular kibble. A 95. I don't know that I want to waste all the kibble on a 95 baryonyx, but at the same time, I do want him to tame up pretty high. Little snail just over here doing his job. Uh, let's get rid of some of this meat and drop some of this junk I picked up. I don't need stone tools. Or stone that thing. I don't need a bow. Don't need those crappy gloves. And I was able to pick up a few spike walls earlier. Don't need that ramp. Do I have that one? I don't. Um, horse saddle blueprint. I guess that goes over here. Any other blueprints? Yeah, I have that one. Clothes go in here. That scope laser thing can go in there. Sleeping bag, I need to put it somewhere. Let's just go right there. I'll rename it. Tree bag one. Because that was making me heavy. Now let's drop some of this stuff off. And I'm just waiting for uh, Baryonyx to heal now. Because he got himself hurt. He did dumb Baryonyx stuff. Okay, and I've got a pre built structure that goes here in the pre built structure box that's not cooperating. Two blood bags. So this, you you hit E, bam, it makes a, a blood bag. And then four seconds later, you can make another one. So you got that saddle. <laughs> Snail is just working away. And uh, let's see. Putting away the stuff. So pretty much unweighted now. don't think my baryonyx is going to get out of that trap. Let's see, what's it going to take to knock him out? Baryonyx, 17 arrows or 8 darts. Um, I'll probably use the arrows. And then 4 regular kibble will tame it. So how am I looking on kibble? What kind of eggs do I have left? I got 3 diplo eggs. I have enough. I have enough. I can make... I'll end up with five kibbles. So let's see. I'm going to need one, two, three. And I come over here so I take the cooked prime meat or the cooked meat jerky and the three eggs. And I'm going to need six of each vegetable. I'm going to take an extra. There we are, making the kibble and starving. 
So let's eat. I put up all my meat. Got some meat out here. I haven't eaten any prime meat yet. Let's do that. Mmm, yummy. What kind of food does that give me? I think 35 or 30. Yeah, it looks like 35, so that was yummy. Yeah, I'll put that prime meat in there. Now we've got some oil in here, right? No, I don't see any oil. Alright, so let's whoa, let's grab some oil. Hey bird. 25 bird I think let's grab a stack of oil did I put it in here no I put it in here I'm gonna put a whole stack of oil now in the preserving bin and didn't I bring some jerky yeah I got some jerky in the bird and some raw meat So those raw meats can go in here and get cooked 12 at a time and the jerkies can go in here along with half of that stack and put that blood in there too or not because it's full all right get that one extraordinary kibble waiting for something to happen Okay, okay, how's the kibble going over here? Got three kibbles made. I put in three eggs, I got three kibbles. Super. And I had stuff left over, so I'm just gonna munch on those. Mm, yummy. Refill this water. Put it back in so we're ready to cook next time. And I guess I need to get my turtles out so they can be making more eggs. Because after this baryonyx, I have a 135 baryonyx to catch. So, let's do this. Six. Bam. It's going to get crowded up here. Seven. Bam. Oh, fail. Didn't have room. Alright. Let's trade these out. Turtle. Turtle. Turtle power. Turtle's on a half shell. Old school reference. Hope you got that one. <laughs> That's a lot of turtles up here. I'm going to need more turtle space. That's not a turtle. That's a turtle, mate. That's not a turtle. This here's a turtle, mate. Another old reference. I'm giving away my age. Okay, I'm going to put these in here because I'm don't want to be carrying around all of them. I'll take three with me and the brontosaurus can go in there too. I don't think I want a brontosaurus up here on the tree house. Let's grab my magnifying glass, go check out the baryonyx, see if he's healed up yet. I can tell from here he's not healed up. How you doing? But that's not a that's not the thing I need. What's your health? Uh, it's not showing me the health. I don't know. Well, he needs more time to heal up. So what can we do between now and then? We can get rid of that pego. Pegos die. Oh, there's an egg. I saw an egg. The duck's been up here. That wasn't an egg. That's a snail. That's an egg. So the duck has been up here. Nope, not an egg. When the duck comes out of the water, he lays eggs. Sometimes it's a golden egg. So let's look up. Oh, Lord. You dummy. Oh, 
Argentavis killed a pego. So you any, see any more duck eggs? He gets out and walks along the beach and occasionally lays an egg. I don't see any more. Alright, fine. Let's, um... Let's grab some more wood out of this beaver den. Take it up to the treehouse. See that? That duck was fixing to get me. <clears throat> Alright. We'll go up here. Now I could start catching fish with my bird and dragging them over here. Can prime fish me? Let's see. That was going to take... 25 prime fish meat. That's a lot. It might be fun to try though. So I could do prime fish meat um, until I can't make any more. Okay. You turtles. <laughs> you guys are in the way. You gotta move. Female turtle. Let's see what I can do with this. Let's go turtle here. And, and you have levels. Female turtle here. Let's see if you can get through. That, yeah, you can. That's good. Oh, and you have levels. And let's see. You're the male turtle. Let's go female turtle. Man, it's, we, we got a turtle problem up here. Oh, do you have levels? Okay, one, two, three. I'm going, I'm going health on the turtles. And this turtle has no saddle. All right, we gotta fix that. I need a turtle saddle. Carbonimus saddle. I know we're gonna need hide. Whoa. Carbonimus hide. Hide. A mm. little bit of cementing paste. And fiber. I got all that. So, turtle, saddle, complete. And this egg can go in here with the others. That's eight Hesperonis eggs now. This bird, well, 75 bird has landed on my treehouse. It's okay, I guess. This turtle is going to go way over here. I oh, see, I got to do it like this, I guess. So I can get off and not jump off the treehouse. What am I going to do with the others? I got two more turtles to fit up here. I think I can make this work. So if I do like that, then I can jump off. Oh, not, not that. Uh, F. And then one more turtle. One more turtle to fit up here. Okay, so these turtles are up in the treehouse. They're going to be safe from being munched on by carnos and, and the like. Doesn't leave a whole lot of space. And there we go. Great made in a while. You could make an egg now. You're ready to mate. You're not. Oh. Enable mating. So those were the two new turtles. Enable mating. So that's three eggs I can get. This one is not ready for a while. This one's not ready for a while. So let's get... <laughs> let's figure out a way to get in there. Let's go like this, I guess. And enable mating. Let's put... Oh, boy. Almost fell off there. Um, like that I guess maybe I can get through there now yeah that works so we're all making eggs now something killed 
Something killed that terror bird down there. Okay, fixing to get three eggs. And, and you don't have a saddle either. Alright, let's make you a saddle. Raptor saddle. Raptor saddle. Um, no, it's gonna need hide and some wood. And probably fiber. Yeah, that does it. A raptor saddle. I haven't found a good blueprint for a raptor saddle yet. Alright, got that. And I did that because I want to turn this guy sideways. I haven't put any levels on him yet because I might breed him and then it makes it easier to figure out who got the best stats. See, when you breed two animals, they, um, they randomly get stats from the parents. And one parent might have high health and the other one might have low health. And it's kind of 50-50 on which one you get, I think. So I'm going to leave him unleveled. Leave Rob here unleveled. And maybe at some point I'll breed a super raptor. Probably not, but maybe. At the very least, I could breed a few high-level raptors. And they're 150, so I mean, they're going to have decent stats already just because they're such high-level dinosaurs. And I've got some more prime meat I can cook. Cause somebody was nice enough to kill that carno down there, so let's cook that up. And watch this. All of this prime meat will cook at one time in the grill rather than having to do it one piece at a time. There we go. Six prime meat. And I'm not going to turn that grill off because, I mean, it takes one piece of of gasoline to make it cook. And that gasoline just keeps going until it stops. Which seems obvious now that I've said it. All right, got three more eggs. One, two, three. And disable mating. So now I got three more turtle eggs, which means I can make three more regular kibbles. One, two, three. Three cooked meat jerky to go with three turtle eggs, which means I'm going to need six corns and six haters. I'm holding out control and pressing T to transfer. Alright, while that's going on, let's dump some junk from Big Bird here. Oh, let's go all the berries. Saddles. Hide. Got a new axe. Let's drop the old axe. My baryonyx ought to be getting close to healed up down there now. Got some metal and some fur and some horn and some other stuff. And I don't need an extra one of those. All right, I keep the spoiled meat there. I keep the fur, and the buildy stuff there. Let's cook this raw meat while the cooker is still going. Can't do that. Alright, alright. Let's put those berries. All these berries into the feeding trough. Oh, that's not feeding trough. Guess I'm gonna have to do it from the other side. Feeding trough. Get berries. Let's put those in there. I'll eat those seeds. I don't think I have enough narco berries to make anything, but I'll still put them in there. This this uh, scrap metal could go in there, get turned into regular metal at some point. Saddle, 
Saddle. Uh oh. Out of room for saddles. Alright, let's take out these cryopods then. And saddle. Saddle. And then I got a saddle blueprint here. Blueprints go in there. And I guess let's put. This one's got lots of space. Let's put all these cryopods there along with some oil and some electronic type stuff and let's see where was I keeping trophies I got that's kind of a trophy and those claws are kind of a trophy and I don't know why I have meat in there let's get that out and let's see there's a small crop plot so two of them so I was thinking about starting some narco berries maybe so why don't we go ahead and do that not narco berries uh, the purple ones actually you know what I could go ahead and plant more narco berries and I bet I have fertilizer yeah there's one there's one I bet there's more over here just let that ride for now the one for you one for you and then let's find some narco seeds are they in here Seeds, no. Who's got seeds? I bet the dodo, the, the dodo man has the seeds. You got seeds, bro? Yeah, you got seeds. So two of those. And it's already fertilized. It just needs a seed. And have these grown enough yet? Oh, they have. I got all kinds of narco berries. But you know what that means. Narcotics on the way. Hey, hey. Let's make the narcotics. Heck yeah. And we got more sap from the sap tap from the giant tree. And what else? There was fertilizer here and I bet here. So we got the two extras on and I'll put one there and one there all right we got four boxes making narcotics now we got a baryonyx down there and a bear has killed a a sarco so i think we're ready to knock out knock out knock out the baryonyx but i want to get rid of this bear I do not want a bear destroying my bear onyx. He was a pretty good bear too. I wish I didn't have to get rid of him. But the bear onyx takes priority right now. We drop a bag, yep. So you need all these trophies later on for the boss fight. He gave me some prime meat. I'm gonna go cook that and then I'm gonna knock out a baryonyx. And then, should I keep the video going for. Hey, I got a pike. Should I keep the video going with the baryonyx tame? If I use the kibble, it looks like five minutes. I can do stuff for five minutes. Yeah, you healed up yet? Well, it's gonna be 17 strength arrows. Let's see if that's true. One. Two. Three. Yeah, 
I'm gonna have to get rid of the stupid Diplo. Start running away. Oh, I did that. What level was that? I didn't see. Anybody see? Right, we're at 14. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. And it's probably gonna take some extras now. Dang it, it blows. Oh, didn't mean to hit him. Oh, left click, I guess. We're going down now. I should take one more shot. If I can grab the right tool. Baryonyx is out. All right, and it's foggy. Fighting the Baryonyx on a foggy day. Let's trade out. For a better pike, since mine is about half damaged. And now it's a five minute waiting game. Well, I'm 32 minutes in already. We can wait five minutes, right? I'm gonna take five kibble. Let's cook this prime meat, cause we may need it one day. And let's cook the regular meat. And this is why I leave the grill running. Because, um, you know, if you turn it off, then you gotta waste another piece of gasoline to get it going again. So just leave it cooking. And then if you have something to cook, it's already running. You just throw the stuff in there and you're good. So I guess I'm gonna use the uh, kibble on this guy. Decent cloth hat there that I might need for the lava cave. We don't need those spears anymore. 75 arrows. Let's dump half of those. And no spear. Don't need those shoes. Always managing inventory in this game. We're still making, still making uh, narcotics though. Berries can go in the feeding trough. And let's see, I got a Sarko trophy that can go in there. Now I don't need to carry around this broken pike. That's 10 pounds. And I should probably take these out and make some stimulant. Make all the stimulant we can with those berries. How are we looking? Is that five minutes yet? Probably not. Let's look into a Baryonyx saddle. Baryonyx saddle. Make sure I don't have a blueprint for that. Blueprint. Baryonyx saddle. Don't have one there. Do I have an actual Baryonyx saddle? Bary nope, I don't. Alright, let's learn it and make it. Baryonyx saddle. 
Okay, that's made over here, right? Barry, no, it's made over here. Saddles, Baryonyx. All right, got all the stuff for it. Got a Baryonyx. Gonna have a Baryonyx to put a Baryonyx saddle on. I mean, that, that matches up perfectly. There's the saddle. Now I'm gonna need five kibble. All right, it's five, right? Checking off screen, nope, it's four. All right, one, two, three, four. And I think I'll catch some fish too. So I need to come down here and find a couple of fish and I'm gonna send my bird after them. See, I'm wondering. Oh, you stupid pego. Cannot have pegos interfering with my life down here. So I was wondering if I pull up that fish right there, that, that saber tooth salmon. If I get him with a pickaxe, Why don't you just bring that over here? If I get that saber tooth salmon with a pickaxe, will he give me prime fish meat? And if so, how much will he give me? like he's brought me a fish that is a big fish oh my gosh maybe I should do this with fish meat and not waste yeah I'm gonna try that oh Perlobia run He's 15 let's try and take him out oh, let's Let's uh, move these over here first. Where'd Perlovia go? Got him. Alright, it's gonna take... 25 prime fish meat. I didn't realize I was going to get that many from a salmon. Figured I'd have to get like 20 fish. So let's do that again. Where's that salmon? There's one. And the difference is, uh, well, it's going to be five levels, but that's all right because I just need a starter baryonyx. And I'll use the kibble on the 135 over there. So, oh, that only gave me three. What the heck? All right, well, let's find another fish. Needs to be a salmon. Is that an otter? It's an otter. There's an otter out there. You go. I'm going to catch me an otter uh, later. Uh, bring me that fish and when I get 20 something of them we're, we're going to tame a baryonyx. Well, that's a big fish. He ought to have some prime meat. Oh yeah, 27. So what did I have already? How many prime fish meat do I have? One, two, three, four. That's yeah, I've got plenty. All right, let's go get him started then. And another freaking Diplo. You're messing with my dude. Prime. Dope. Not primped. Not primicles. 
prime. I'm gonna put all these prime meats, prime fish meats on the baryonyx. He's gonna start eating and we're gonna tame up a baryonyx with prime fish meat. Looks like each one does about 4%. So that would be 25 prime fish meat, wouldn't it? Now you just keep on eating. How far are we gonna get? It's it's about a 10 minute tame with the prime fish meat. So I think I've gotten close to that. Video's at 40 minutes. I think I started him around 30 minutes. Yeah, we're a little bit short. All right, well, how long is this fish meat gonna last? It looks like it's good. Um, torpidity's fine. So I don't need to use any narcotics on him. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good. So, so this is gonna be Baryonyx Tame number one. This is, this is a male 95. And then maybe off camera I'll go over to the 135 when I have the kibbles for it. Or maybe I'll use some prime fish meat. Maybe I'll use some kibble and some prime fish meat. I don't want him to despawn. There's a Rocky. He's a 50. He's not a very good Rocky. There's a stupid Pego. Pego's gotta die. Stupid Pego. So now we're just waiting on the Baryonyx. There's a 10. Another 10. Where are you at? About 88? Oh, 92. Two more bites. Come on, Baryonyx. What should I name him? What do you think? Barry? Maybe? What kind of dead thing is this? What is that? Terror bird. Dead terror bird. And I have some prime meat to cook. I guess while we're waiting on... Oh, he's up! Baryonyx is up! Heck yeah! Alright, so let's options. Uh, change name. Barry. 95.137 is that what he was? 137? Yeah. Baryonyx. Baryonyx in the house, y'all. We got our first Baryonyx. I'll quickly show you what he's capable of, I guess. Let's uh can he jump out of there? No, uh, can I pick him up on the big bird? I don't think so. No, that's a fail. All right, let's take down this wall then. Take down the wall, run out, put the wall back. Okay, and I'll show you what he can do. We'll run out in this water. And if there's a fish around, we can, where'd he go? I lost the fish. I can't see the fish. Well, there's a fish. He bites the fish and harvests the, the meat all at the same time. And when you're out here in the water, he has a little spin attack, which will stun any fish life that's out there. So if you got a shark, for example, it will stun the shark and then you can just continue biting on the shark until he's dead. Now, I'm going to put this Baryonyx in a cryopod. And I'm going to... That's not a cryopod. And I'm going to go up and cook the rest of the prime meat and prime fish meat so it doesn't spoil. And that's going to be the end of this episode. So if you liked what happened and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a message about what you like and don't like. And me over here cooking, me over here cooking with my bird, Droopy Pond. I'm signing off. See you next time.